Hey YouTube, how's it going? And welcome back to another Fallout 76 guide. Today we are looking at the rare apparel in this game. After playing this game for a thousand plus hours, I can happily say that I am still missing rare apparel in this game. Like there's some outfits that I just never got. And there's some outfits that are just so grindy that you would probably just forget about them. So throughout this video, I'm going to be going over the outfits that you can just obtain by picking them up. And then I'll be going over the outfits that you can get from events and dailies. Before we continue on, let's talk about our sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is a free-to-play mobile and PC game that has 400 plus champions where you build teams to claim glory in campaign and PvP modes with new characters coming out every month and a very good progression system in the game. If you want to help support me, just click on the link down in the description and play the tutorial. It doesn't take longer than five minutes and thank you for your time. So the very first outfit that I'm going to be talking about today is the Mr. Fuzzy outfit. This outfit can be found all the way down in Camden Park. This is southwest of Vault 76. So when you, uh, when you come down to the Ash Heap area, you will see it over to the left. So when you get to Camden Park, you're going to be doing a quest or you're going to at least get a quest called Mistaken Identity. When you're finished uh, Mistaken Identity, you will be able to get daily missions called the Chow Line, Drostos and Lucky Mucker. Now, the thing about uh, Mistaken Identity is that it actually shows you what you need to do for these dailies. And every day you come on, you'll have one of those dailies just there for you. If you don't come on for a few days, all of the dailies will be there for you. So do not worry about that. But... The thing about these dailies is that you will begin a certain uh, currency called Mr. Fuzzy Tokens. And when you get Mr. Fuzzy Tokens, you're, com you're going to be coming over to the shop right here. So once you get into the park, you're just going to be coming over to the left side. So there's the entrance right there. You're going to be coming over to the left and into this shack. And you will get to these terminals. Once you get into the terminals, you, you will be able to see two redemptions for getting the Mr. Fuzzy uh outfit and then a mr fuzzy head now unfortunately i do not have the tokens I, this must be new because i remember it always displaying uh, like all of the prizes but since i have below 50 um well just about 50 tokens it's just showing me everything that i can get right now but there's three things missing there's the comic book that i'm able to get 100 tokens and then there is the mr fuzzy costume which is 150 tokens and then the mr fuzzy costume head which is 300 tokens now unfortunately as i said they're not there at the moment but they are a thing that you can get if you have the tokens so to get the Mr. Fuzzy outfit, you basically need 450 tokens. Now, 450 tokens, you might not think that's a lot, but considering that you only get one daily in Camden Park a day, and you can only get a maximum of three tokens a day, means that you will be grinding this out for months to get this costume. Now, this costume, the tokens have been duped before, and all of that, so, like, you know, a lot of people would not say that it's a rare apparel, but I would, since for the average player that doesn't go and uh, buy these tokens, or that you're just a new player that is just going in doing your dailies, this will take you several months. It would take you up to six months to a year to get this outfit, and that's, all, that's if you log on every day. So that's why I say like this is a rare apparel. It takes a long ass time to get this, but just keep in mind you need 450 tokens to get this uh, costume. Yeah, that is going to be the first costume that we talk about. And uh, we're going to be moving on to the Asylum costumes next. So now we're looking at the Asylum Worker uniform. Now this uniform comes in many variants. You can get the blue, brown, forest, green, pink, red, weathered white dirty white and yellow so as you can see there's many different variants that you can get there the rarer ones are going to be the red and the forest now a lot of people want the other ones yes but the rarer ones are the red and the forest the chances of getting them is next to none like it's a very small chance and where you get them is at fortifying so fortifying is right here on the map next to watoga and it's just across from foundation so right there is fortifying when you get to this location you actually have to go into the building 
Now, a few things about this is that other players can come along and pick up these outfits before you can. So just keep that in mind. But also, there is a chance that these outfits don't even spawn here. Like, the chance is so minimal that it actually takes a while for you to get this. This is one, uh, one of the more rare outfits. Like, yeah, the Mr. Fuzzy outfits you can get whenever you want. But this outfit, it actually takes a lot of time. Like, you literally need to um come here every so often and just try and get it but you're going to be coming this elevator right here and once you get into the elevator you're just going to be going to the third floor once you spawn into the third floor you're just going to be checking a few rooms in this location so when you get into this location from the elevator you're just going to be checking the bed areas because the bed areas is where the uh, outfits are going to spawn so just have a little look around if you don't see them just move on so from there you're going to come down to the end of this corridor into this room and you're just going to check the beds as well you'll just see around if you um if you see them on the bed for me i am not really getting lucky right now and there's one more area which is across from here and it's just on a little table right here. You can see that I did get um, a uniform, but it is the uh, white dirty one. So, you know, it's not the one that I want, but um, it's still one of them. I now need to get to several others. All of these locations I showed you right now will spawn at different variants. There is also um, a way to force respawn some of these um, asylum uh, worker outfits in the game. I will link a video in the description on how to force respawn items. It's a very good video. It will help you respawn everything in the world and it does work with these outfits. So you will be able to check that video out. But uh, those three locations I just showed you right now is where these outfits spawn. You can also get them in the event around the uh, cranberry bug. It's just um, the RNG for that is next. Like, I mean, like, you have a better chance of coming here and finding it than finding them during uh, events. So, you know, if you want to do the events, go ahead. You're more than welcome. But um, you're better off just checking here every server you get on. And... Um, hopefully you find it the outfit that you want so now that i've gone over some of the obtainable ones that you can just get yourself i'm going to be going over some of the ones that you can just get from events or dailies so the first place we're going to be looking at is the savage divide area so the savage divide area is literally the middle place on this map that's just full of this like all all of that gray gray brown like area okay that's all the savage divide it divides the map in half like you know that's where it gets its name so there's events and dailies, well there's events that you're going to be looking out in the Savage Divide. It's going to be uh, Extinguished Guests, Guided Meditation, Uranium Fever and One Violent Night. These will just randomly spawn, um, I know Sons of Dane is where um, One Violent Night spawns and Guided Meditation is the pa Palace of the Widened Path. And they have a 0.1% chance of spawning the BOS Jumpsuit, the White Spring Jumpsuit, the Forest Scout Mask, the Orban Scout Mask and the white powder jumpsuit so the next area we're going to be looking at is the forest area so in the forest area which is all the area around vault 76 that has all the green on the map you can see it all the way down here all the way down to the ash heap all the way up here you can see this is all the uh, forest area so there's two outfits you can actually get in the forest area that are rare. It's the forest camo jumpsuit and the responder fireman helmet and um, costume like suit. So do not get this mixed up with the fire breeder suit. I know a lot of people are just like, oh, I already have it. Like I have the fire breeder one. No, we're looking for the responder one from the forest area. So there is a few good events and dailies you can do. So you can do Strange Brew. With Strange Brew, you can get the uh, daily from just com coming to the giant teapot and talking to Sweetwater. He will give you the daily for the Strange Brew. And then Ecological Balance, which you need to go around the map and find a little holotapes. But to the way to activate that, um, the way to activate that daily is that you need to come to the water treatment plant which is right here you go in here you'll find a terminal and you will get a few steps to complete this daily and then you'll get the daily every few days so those are the two dailies that you can do to get these outfits 
but you can also do uh, back on the B, Feed the People, Collision Course, Fly Swar, Leader of the Pack, Fertile Soil, Project Beanstalk, Path to Enlightenment, and Tea Time. So these um, events will randomly pop up around the forest area. So as I said, just keep your eye, eyes peeled for the forest area events and you will have a 0.03% chance of these outfits um, dropping for you. Now, I know that is a very, very low chance. But as I said there, there's a lot of, uh, there's two dailies that you can do. And then there's several events that you can do to try and get yourself these rare apparels. So now we have the Meyer area. Now the Meyer area has three different outfits you can get. It's the leather coat, the traveling leather coat, and the tattered field jacket. These all have a 0.1% chance of uh, dropping from these events and dailies. And um, the dailies you can get this from is Queen of the Hunt, which is my all-time favorite. You just need to go, off, uh, go around and find a certain uh, enemy. You uh, get it from Playtime, Waste Not, and Idle Explosive. So there, those are very easy dailies. You can get them done very fast, and you have a chance of getting them three outfits. But you also got them um, Always Vigilant, It's a Trap, Irrational Fear, and Heart of the Swamp. These events spawn around the mire, so it's basically this black area right here. And when they spawn, just go over, do the, um, do the events, and you will have a chance of getting these three outfits. These outfits are very nice. Unfortunately, I do not have the RNG in this game, and I've never got it on Xbox or PC, so... Hopefully my RNG change in the future and I'm able to get them pearls in this game. Now there is more, but some of them are tied to like seasonal stuff like um, the Graham's cookout and all. And uh, we, do, we do have that coming up soon, but it's just I wanted to keep it a short list of just rare apparel that you can just get in the game whenever you want or at least try and get it whenever you want. But uh, guys, if this video was helpful and you um, you want to support me, don't forget to drop a like, comment and subscribe and um also check out the description i will have the uh the link to how to force respawn um items in the world i'll have that video linked in the description also i am sponsored by red shadow legends for the week and if you can uh, check out the description and click on the link just play the tutorial it helps me out a ton and i do appreciate it but guys without further ado thank you for watching and goodbye